Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics and the video question line. Today's topic is symmetric parts and GDT. Today's question that was submitted uh, was Is the use of symmetry in this example correct? Uh, now, the drawing submitted to us was uh, a bit of proprietary information on it, so we dumbed it down and created a simple example that brought forth the features and tolerances in question so we can kind of facilitate the conversation we want about symmetry. So symmetry is a common symbol I see misused for a lot of reasons. Um, and for those of you that are operating on the 2018 standard and you didn't realize it, symmetry is now gone. ASME got rid of uh, concentricity and symmetry in the 2018 revision. In the 2009 revision or prior, you can still use it. Uh, it's an interesting symbol that uh, if you actually read the standard, it's probably not accomplishing what you thought it was. And so for that reason, we always recommend uh, not using symmetry and concentricity. That's why they got rid of it, actually. Um, and use position instead. So we'll go through a couple things here with the sample drawing though, uh, discuss why this drawing is incorrect and what to do to make it more correct. So right out of the gate, uh, the first thing I wanna point out here is that we have the datum feature symbol attached to a center line on our drawing. Um, regardless of what symbol we're using, what tolerances we have going on here, this is a big no-no. Um, we cannot put datum feature symbols on center lines, axes, anything like that on the drawing because there's a couple things that can happen, right? Um, this is on the center line that is of the center of this part. Um, but what creates that center line? Is it the uh, outside diameter here creating an axis or is it the two smaller diameters here? Is it one of the smaller diameters here creating an axis? There's a lot of reasons. Is it the center axis of this smaller diameter here? Uh, there's a lot of features on this part that could create the center axis of this part. And keep in mind, they will all have their own axes. The outside diameter might exist here. The uh, smaller diameters might exist over here. And this uh, small ID might exist right here. So you would have an axis here. You'd have an axis over here and an axis right here. Uh, each one of those features will have their own axes and could create separate datum axes. So by simply attaching the symbol to an axis or a center line on a drawing, you're not clearly identifying which of those features is the most important feature. Even if we attached it to uh, maybe, let's say, this feature here, identifying this small uh, OD uh, as datum feature A, and we did it appropriately, and we still used symmetry, uh, about that axis uh, to control the symmetry of these midplanes on all four of these keyways, that's also not legal. Um, why that is not legal is because symmetry has to control symmetry back to a datum plane. So the feature that creates um, our datum here, datum A, needs to be a planar datum. In this instance, this is an axis as a datum, and so we cannot control symmetry about an axis. Uh, so again, big reason not to use symmetry in this scenario. But albeit I can see the intent of this drawing, and that is to keep and make sure the midplanes of all of these keyways, or these slots, are going to be centered on the axis of this feature. So how do we accomplish that? Well, let's take a look at this new drawing we have here. We've still identified the outside diameter as datum feature A, uh, and then we go ahead and control the mid planes of these four features with position back to datum axis A. And datum axis A is going to be down the center of the part based on these outside diameters. And we know that the axis can control translation vertically and horizontally, as well as rotation this way and rotation in and out of the page, right? So an axis as a primary datum can control four degrees of freedom, two translations and two rotations. And so that is enough to control the location as well as the coaxiality or um, symmetry, if you want to call it that, of these midplanes. Uh, and since we're controlling a pattern of four holes, we're also controlling feature to feature. Uh, position controls of patterns control the location or an orientation of each feature with respect to each other. So there's an implied basic dimension of 90 degrees between all of these midplanes. 
And so we know the radial location from each other. And we also know that each one of them need to be parallel and coincident. So we can be parallel and exist over here with this midplane, but we're also controlling that translation with this datum axis. So it is locking all four of these midplanes centered on and parallel to the datum axis. So this is our datum axis. These are the tolerance zones for each one of these midplanes based on this feature control frame. And so the keyway down here can shift over and to the left and have its midplane exist there, or it can shift over to the right and have its midplane exist over here. It's also controlling the orientation. So if the keyway came at it a bit of an angle and its midplane looked like that, as long as it's inside this tolerance zone, it's met its position specification. So this is truly controlling the coplanarity, or if you want to picture the symmetry of the midplanes, this midplane can go over to the left, this midplane can go over to the right, and the maximum amount of coplanarity error, or the symmetry error, if you want to picture it that way, uh, is going to be no more than 20 thousandths. This one can go 10 thou that way, and this one can go 10 thou this way, uh, and they will all be centered on the datum axis. So hopefully this helps clarify the use of symmetry and the intended uh, idea of symmetry and how you can replace that with position. Thanks again for tuning in. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.